and welcome to The Renew View. I'm your host, Jewel Peterson, and this is a show where we give you the inside scoop on our Bible studies. Yes. If you take a look, we have a different set. Yes, I <laughs> have. different. Yes, the lovely ladies are here, the ladies of The Renew View. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And we just want to welcome everybody the way that our pastor, Pastor Taliba Durham, would do. Yes. All right. The way to be ready? Yeah, yeah, let's yeah. do it. Okay. Good, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on what, what time you're watching. You're watching. <laughs> Nicely done. I think we did well. I think we did very good. Very good. Very good. Can we get a band? Yeah. No, yes. no, no, yes. no. Yes. no. Yes. I'm not yes. encouraging that. No. I'm not either. I'm, I'm, I'm not vouching for that one. We're going to pray on that one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Good. But well, we just want to again <laughs> welcome you to the show. And uh, Pastor did encourage us to put this show together because she really wanted us she to did. attest to, you know, the things that are happening inside our church. Yes. yes. Inside our hearts for the better. Yes. Um, an example, a great example would be uh, last weekend there was a young lady. Oh, yeah. Who was four years wow. old. Yes. Who was... Well, Healed. Right. healed. Yes. She was healed. Yes, Hadn't absolutely. Hadn't eaten in two days. Right, And right. the mother said she needed, the doctor said she needed a blood transfusion. Mm. Yes. But at the pastor prayed with her. Yes, and she did pray for her. It's oh, awesome. my goodness. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Before we left church that night, she was, she was running eating. around. Yeah. Eating. 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 Eating everything. Yeah. Eating. Yeah. Yes. Yes. She absolutely immediate. was. It was Amazing. awesome. It was awesome. Yeah, we just want to encourage you at home to come on out and join yes. the worship center. Yes. And come on out and just experience the same thing that we've been having. Yes. Yes. Awesome ourselves. experience. Yes. Absolutely. Life changing. Yes. Absolutely. Well, should we introduce ourselves, our panel? Our yes. Panel? I think okay. it would be great. <laughs> okay, great. Well, I'm Glenda Dunn. I'm Sierra Williams. And I'm Debbie Brown. Great introduction, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ms. All right. Well, so we started our discussion actually before before the show. <laughs> yes, we just yeah. couldn't wait. We couldn't wait. <laughs> we couldn't wait. <laughs> we couldn't wait. <laughs> going. Uh, but Sierra, you brought up some a uh, lot of good points. You want to start us off? Well, um, what do I start? <laughs> right. <laughs> so much. But um, we were talking about how Jacob and Esau um, actually how they differentiated with wives. Wives mm -hmm. actually how. Um, Esau got wives from um, when a, when Abimelech made the covenant. He saw opportunity and got his him two wives. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas Jacob had to go to his mother's side of the family to get a wife, mm -hmm. a wife. <laughs> and I I saw that to be very interesting on the way that they did things. You know that that showed a lot about their characters at that particular point. Point, and I think that Glenda was saying how being an opportunist, she didn't see anything wrong with that. Right. <laughs> yes, I did not see anything wrong with that. Not in a negative sense. I mean, the whole like I said, the whole reason why he married the wives of the land was because Isaac and Abimelech had some issues, and after they made peace, he decided, well, let me just marry the wives of the land so that. Let's make sure that peace is secured. And I see that there's nothing wrong with, I think, with securing your future. I could be wrong, but I just don't think that securing your future is tonight the smart thing to do. <laughs> well, I, well uh, I, I don't see anything wrong with um, securing your future. Um, but what I can say is that I'm pretty sure that a lot of people will agree with you. Securing your future is great. Make sure you go to school. Make sure you get a good job. Secure yourself. So if something happens, you have something to fall on. Mm -hmm. yeah. But what my pastor, what our pastor has told us, yes. is that security lies in God. Right. And anything right. that you build up, it's not secure if it does not, the foundation is not God. And so, you know, with Esau and the way that he wanted to secure things, it was not through faith. It was through his own hands. If he could not see it and touch it, and if it didn't sound right, even him overhearing um, how um, they told Jacob to go to get um, get a wife from his mother's side, Esau was like, "Uh, I got an idea. Y'all yeah. <laughs> want him to go get a wife? I'm gonna go get me another wife. This is his third wife." <laughs> and so he goes to Ishmael yeah. to yeah. get um, a wife. Yeah. You know, and going in the wrong direction. You know, because if that security does not lie in um, in Christ Himself, 
we're actually going all types of direction, you know, and pastors always have always taught, make coming up with your own plan, not having that security, you know, so I, I just think that that was totally awesome, and, and she really does um, elaborate so much on bring those characters to life and bring them to right now, yes. you know, because I'm yes. pretty sure all of us can see something, ourselves, ourselves so. in Every one of these characters. Yes, yes. Absolutely, yes. absolutely. And I wanted to pick up on that because um, for me, I definitely saw myself in this other section of the story. It was Genesis 28 mm -hmm. where um, I feel like that was definitely me and my tendencies where it talks about how Jacob uh, left Beersheba and then went towards Haran. And then while he was there, Haran rather, while he was there, he rested. And of all things to rest on, he decided that he was going to uh, take a stone and make it his pillow. <laughs> wow. And um, it was such a great moment in our service it great was moment. Very awesome. awesome. when pastor explained it yeah. because yeah. i think we all just sat there with our mouths just like open oh, yes. <laughs> <Really? laughs> <Really? Really? laughs> yeah. and, and, and really what she was talking about was the fact that you know he made the pill a pill he made the rock his pillow and in other words he made it his resting place he yes. made a hard place a resting place and while she was talking about the importance of when you're in a hard place, but you know God has put you there, don't get out. Mm -hmm. And I have had the tendency, I will say it loud, <laughs> and I was not proud, but yeah. I will just say it loud. <laughs> I have had the tendency to be like, oh, it's too hot in here. Get, get out of the kitchen. <laughs> get out. This you know, rock is I'm too going hard. another direction. Cause I can't take the heat. Yeah, that's right. You know that's that right. saying. Yeah. Can't take the heat. Yeah, get out I know the that's out I, I always get out the kitchen. <laughs> yes. Now, that was pre-renew. Yeah. Pre-renew. Pre I, I like that too. I like that too. Yes, that's yes. Awesome. That was pre-renew. Pre-renew. Pre but um, now, and and you know, really, because Pastor has been teaching, and she's even been teaching us even before the importance of staying in that place because there's anointing in this in that place. Yes. 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 When he yes. got up, he, yes. he anointed. Um, anointed the, the, the rock, rock, the stone, yeah. that he, area. And he made it into a pillow. A, yes. A pillar. Exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. And Debbie, you had such a great revelation based on what our pastor said. Yes. Go ahead with it. And not only did he find it a resting place, but when you make that rock, that resting place, for you, you find yourself. Yes. You find out who you are. Yes. And as you stated, you found yourself running, getting out the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. When we, if we don't find ourselves, we will run, get outside of the will of God. But Jacob stayed there, and he found himself in Christ. Mm -hmm. That was, yeah. Yes, yeah. that's awesome. Let's see, now I'm going about to call both of y'all out. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> you see, you got the kids. I'm gonna call you out. Okay, you did, Miss Pre Renew. That's amazing. <laughs> and all of us. Yes. No, but you know the whole, you know Jacob went out there on his own, and you know he slept in a hard place, mm -hmm. and then God reveals to him. God reveals to Jacob who he is. Mm -hmm. Now Jacob had awesome experience. He see the, what we call Jacob's ladder, the angel of God descending and ascending, mm -hmm. and this vision he had. And then when he wakes up. All of a sudden, he tells God, you know, if you do this and if you do this, yes. then I will serve you. And Glenda, I just want to stop you there. Can you elaborate a little bit more? Because God tells him in the dream, right? Yes. He's, yes. What did he, he said, I'm the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac, your father. And he's saying, I will be with you. He celebrates, right. I will be with you right. through, through, through the way you go. Right. So Jacob sees this in a vision. Now, when Jacob gets up, he makes a memorial to his day. He takes the stone from his head. And makes a pillar and anoints it mm -hmm. at that point. And then Jay goes on to say, well, God, if you build me in my way, then I'll serve you. If you do this and do this, I'll serve you. And I believe Pastor, Pastor mentioned about, you know, be careful placing conditions on what God has made unconditional. Yeah. Yeah. And we yes. talked about that. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. But uh, like I said, I, you know. You know, this is Jacob's first time out the out out from his mom and father. You know, God's telling him he has not had. This is the first time we see documented. You know, where Jacob has spirits with God for yes. himself. So you know, he has not tried this God yet. I guess he has. You know, God revealed to him who he is, mm -hmm. but Jacob has not went through any trial with God yet. So you know, I understand him maybe not knowing God as much. And say, no, if you do this, then I'll be with you, God. You know, but how you gonna be in the presence? <laughs> how you gonna be in the presence? God Himself has revealed this to him, to to him to right. Jacob, 
Okay, first he was in a hard place. <laughs> now you're in a hard place. God has revealed this to you. Mm -hmm. This is an epiphany. Wow, I was sleeping on a rock, and in this <laughs> rock, you mean to tell me, and when I say in this rock, in this hard place, it's something that is difficult. Mm -hmm. I have seen God in a different way, or God has seen me, mm. you know. But uh, Jacob ain't seeing God right now, because Jacob is saying, if you do this, then I will do this. Like he's questioning if this is the God, is if this is his God. Well, well, look at well, I guess look at it. You know, when you were in church, I don't know if you were in church or not. Yes, I was raised in church. Okay, now let's do this. You know, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> fighting words. <laughs> we, fighting words. Right yeah, okay. we, yeah, the fighting words. <laughs> but it's, it's 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 to me, it's no different than someone being raised in church, and you you know how God moved through your parents, and you know how God moved through your relatives, but you have not experienced hardship on your own, and so when God tells you who He is. Your point of reference is your From mother your and father. And so now God is saying, I'm never going to be with you. Now, mm -hmm. as I was with them, I'm going to be with you. So this is mm -hmm. first trial. I understand failing on your first time. Right. Yeah. No one gets it right off the boat. So I understand Jacob saying, well, if you be with me, then I'll serve you, God. If you do this for me, then I, I'll serve you. I know who you are. You know, so I kind of say a little bit. What do you think, Deborah? <laughs> well, just as Pastor told us on, yeah. last, on Saturday, that... We learn God in a process. Yes. We just don't know that that's God. It takes a process. Yes, it does. That's true. Yeah, you know, that's true. It's, yes. it's a building. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can see that. You can yeah. see that? <laughs> I don't know if they does know about God. <laughs> we're, we're still learning. I'm that's still why learning. we're here at Renew. Renew. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Learning a great deal, I may say. Yeah, learning absolutely. a great deal. We've, all of our lives have yeah. been changed as yeah. a result. Yes, it has. And like you said, we're in a process. We're in a journey. We're in a journey. Thank God. Yes. Yeah. And thank God that we are in a place. Yes. Renew Worship yes. Center. Yes. Mm -hmm. Pastor by Pastor Taliba Durham. Yes. That is feeding us. Yes. And yes. keeping us on the right path um, yes. as we learn and go through our processes. And that yes. is great. The good and, and the, the bad. bad. <laughs> <laughs> and she encourages us as we lay our head on that rock. Oh, no. yes, <laughs> you know, yes. to stay That's and right. rest. Find your rest. Find she your don't rest. let you take an easy way out. That's no, right. she don't. That's right. So why don't we why don't we do a recap real quickly of a couple of points before uh, we close the show today? Why don't we just recap? Uh, we said the importance of. Um, uh, Staying in those hard places. Staying in and those not hard coming places. Out of yes. Them. Yes. Knowing who you are. Yes. And receiving the anointing from God. Yes. Mm -hmm. Resting in the hard places. Absolutely. And I, I just want to re say that again. Resting in the hard places yes. and receiving anointing at the end. Yes. That's right. It's like the light at the end of the dark tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's yes. right. There's always that yes. light. There's always yes. that light. And then the process. You just yes. that. The process. The, the process, process that. It takes us to know God. Yes. We just don't. It's not just off the whim. Hey, hey, I know you got. It's yeah. a process. It's yeah. a process. Well, well, there you have it, yeah. ladies. I've enjoyed this time with you all. I enjoyed it. Really <laughs> great. This was great. We, we had our, our coffee, our teas, our water. Yes. And we just we sat did. back, <laughs> hung out on, on the couch, and like the kids say, we were chillaxing. Yeah. <laughs> chillaxing. <laughs> talking about the Lord yes. and, and this wonderful church, Renew Worship Center wow. that we yes. love so much. Love so much. Yes. Well, it was great being with you. It Thank was you. Great, great being here. here. Yes, it yes. Was. And it was great having you today. And we hope to see you at our church. But if we don't, we will be back yes. next week yes. with the next awesome. review of Renew. <laughs> Renew. <laughs> All right. <laughs>